we can invoke the cleansing laws of prosperity is by writing out what we want to eliminate from our lives. If you'll look at your decree sheet on the inside, we have places for you to write out three different areas. The first area is to write out what you want to eliminate from your life. This is another way to invoke this cleansing law of prosperity, to get free of that which you do not want. Now, for many years, I did what many success courses and books talk about. I wrote out the second list. I wrote out what I wanted to bring into my life, what I wanted to happen in my life. And it worked in a great way. But I had one nagging problem that I seemed unable uh, to clear out of my life. And then somewhere I wrote about this, I read about this idea of writing out first what you want eliminated from your life. And so I decided to try it. And a very interesting thing happened. As soon as I was very honest with myself and just secretly, quietly, privately wrote out what I want, wanted eliminated from my life, which was that, that particular problem, within a short length of time it began to clear a line in a very orderly way without my having to do anything about it. Now, it's good to remind ourselves of what the word elimination means when we think of writing out what we want eliminated from our life. The word elimination or the function of elimination is twofold. First, to eliminate error from our lives and then to expand our good. And so you do not have to be afraid of the word elimination, you see. You do not, do not have to be afraid that if you write out what you want eliminated from your life, that something else may, may be taken from you too. Instead, the word eliminate is, has a twofold meaning, to eliminate error and then to expand your good. Elimination of something from your life is always an indication that something better is on the way. And so after writing out your elimination list, it's just good to declare, I let go and trust. You see, that helps us to release it. Now, somewhere we have this idea. Oh, on the front of number three, on the front, that last section says, I let go and trust. And let's declare it together. I let go and trust. Sometimes on an elimination list, you might want to just write that idea at the bottom of it. I let go and trust. And that helps you to, get, to gain your freedom. Now, when you're trying to achieve a result, and it has not come, it's often because there is still something in mind, body, affairs, or relationships that you need to free, release, renounce, eliminate. And as long as you put off this elimination process, you put off results. Every phase of life requires renunciation. Every advance means the rejection of something old. But elimination not only takes something from us, it gives something to us because, again, it forms that vacuum that opens the way for the new good. And so you can make your elimination list knowing that it will not only take something from you that you've outgrown, but that it will bring new good to you. Now, I have found that this elimination idea is a fabulous one to work with. Uh, once when I was working with the idea of releasing, loosing, letting go, that which was no longer for my highest good, um, I found that things that I hadn't had in mind began to move out of my life. Some old surroundings, some old possessions, some old relationships that simply uh, had run their course in my life. They just began to move right out of my life when I began to declare uh, relief and renunciation. And so it's a marvelous idea to work with. Now, we talked about cleaning out the closet. Along with cleaning out the closet, another way to invoke the cleansing law of prosperity is to clean out our lives if they need it. If we want to be prospered, if we want to be healed, if we want our good to come to us, we must clean up and clean out our lives as well. It is useless to affirm benefits and protection and supply 
and right answer if all of the time we are doing those things that we know are not right in the sight of God and man. So often when one first learns about the power of thought, he thinks or gains the idea that he can use the power of thought or mind power to get other people to do what he wants them to do. And he may even see it happen for a time. He may try to plaster over his life with some of these ideas. But usually such results are temporary unless they have been founded upon the right basis. For instance, there once was a lonely widow who had led a life of emotional and moral compromise since the death of her husband, feeling that she had to settle for that arrangement. And finally, she heard about this cleansing law of prosperity, and she realized that if she wished to remarry uh, happily, she must clean up and clean out her life. And so she did so. She began to clear out of her life some compromising relationships. And after she did so, there was a quiet period in there, and she just kept saying, um, well, I let go and trust. And she said that within a year from the time she began to use this cleansing law of prosperity, that she uh, met and happily married a very fine man whom she would not have met in her previous circle of acquaintances. And so it is true that the universe seems to withhold the next development until order is first established in the present situation. This woman proved that elimination is twofold. When she eliminated error from her life, the expanded good came to her. And so again, let's use number four. It just kind of helps the relief idea work for us easily. I now let go worn out things, worn out conditions, worn out relationships. Divine order is now established and maintained in me and in my world. Let's declare it together. I now let go worn out things, worn out conditions, worn out relationships. Divine order is now established and maintained in me and in my world. Good.